Good morning everybody. Um, so it's Monday today. Uh, I had a day off yesterday. I went to a lovely barbecue. Um, I had loads of good food and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm back out today meeting up with Treasure Ed. Um, we're going to change fields I think today. We're definitely going to meet up today at this crossroads and um, decide on where to go. We've got uh, a field right next to me actually which has been bailed. Um, which is one of ours and um, we've got three more dotted around along, along the corner there so um, yeah I'm waiting for Treasure Ed to turn up and then we're going to get some digging done so uh, I'll see you on the first target or um, the first um, bit of stuff that comes up really nice actually Treasure Ed's just turned up so I'm going to get cracking and go and meet up with him and I'll see you real soon right guys on to a first target actually second target and I'll show you the first target that's what I had on the first target. Um, so I just had this little flat button. There we go. So I'll be back. I'm out with Treasure Ed today. Um, be out in a bit. Right guys, another target. Let's go down together and have a look. Right, so here's the target. Oh, I just broke it. <laughs> oh well. It would have been a, only a little piece on the buckle so it wasn't complete. But yeah, an old buckle. Right, moving on, let's get some more targets dug. Okay guys, so I just had a cracking target. I thought it might be a coin. Um, but I've actually dug this piece of metal out and it's got some writing and stuff all over it and some symbols. Um, I'll try and give this a clean up and see if I can uh, get any detail off it. I'll be back soon. Okay guys, so I just walked up to Treasure Ed, um, just to show him this, and I can see Leinster, L-E-I-N-S-T-E-R, with Central India written on it. Now, it could be military, so I'm going to say possible military. Um, so what me and Ed are going to do at lunchtime, we're going to sit and Google this, and hopefully you'll already see what the description is in this video. So. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll be popping up on your screen now exactly what it is, but um, I'll add a bit more to this video um, at lunchtime if I can figure out what it is and show you guys a bit more, maybe a bit more cleaned up because it's it's really hot out here to stay still. I'm trying to keep moving, keep that little bit of breeze going. Right, cool find, on to the next. Right guys, welcome back onto another target. And uh, I can see part of it in that. There we go. Another buckle of some sort. Another couple of buckles so far. Um, and that military might be a badge cap or something. Right, on to the next. Right, guys, I've just had this little find. Um, not 100% sure what it is. Possible cap, part of a cap badge. Um, but I'm going to clean it up now and uh, see if we can get any detail off it. But that's the front. And. Uh, that's the back. Sweet. Right, back in a sec. Guys, so here it is cleaned up. Not the best of cleaning up, but I think that's as much detail as this is actually going to provide. Uh, so if there's any whizzers out there that know anything military and sort of... We believe it's a, ba a cat badge, or Treasure Ed does, you know, he's uh, pretty good on his military stuff. So yeah, let's um, hope that's what it is. And if anyone else can f put further information, just leave a comment below. And uh, we're onto some uh, half decent stuff out here. Hopefully, there's some more bits. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so, Treasure Ed has just done a little bit of research while we were just sat here having a break. And it's a Leinster Regiment um, Irish Helmet Plate Centre Relic Cap Badge. So, mine's actually missing the centrepiece. It could be out in the field here somewhere, um, but it dates to World War I or World War II. So that is happy days. So two military finds I've had so far. Um, just got to ID the other one if possible. But yeah, this one's just been ID'd. Uh, so yeah, on to the next. See you in a bit, guys. Ah, another target here, guys. If you guys can see that down there. Whether this is a coin, or whether it's a button. Yep, it's a nice little flat button. 
had one of them earlier, but it's got the full shank on the back. Right, let's keep digging some more. Hello guys, welcome back. So I've just got a Okay guys, welcome back. So me and uh, Treasure had to switch fields. I've just found this. I have no idea what it is. It kind of, it gave up a pretty cool signal like a coin. So that's the front, uh, the back, and that's the front. Now, before we started today, Treasure Ed came up to me and showed me something similar that he had found. I wasn't expecting to find this, um, but Ed's gonna show his now on camera. And it's exactly, so we've got the same symmetrical shape with the same kind of material only Dave's is a bit battered. Um, a bit darker than mine and a bit more battered but if anybody would know whether these are some kind of a, a token because that is that's that's too perfect to not be the same thing so yeah um, eventually um, Treasure Ed wrapped this, this up on his video um, but if you can give me some info it'll help Dave as well as me so yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll see you soon. Okay, you guys, just onto another target. I just had this button, which looks like there's possibility gonna be some detail on this one. So I'm gonna give this a little clean up for you guys. There's the back, the shank's just underneath there. It's a little bent over, but uh, actually got some words on the back here. I think that says Birmingham. Let me clean it up guys and I'll be back. Right guys, so there's the button, and I think that's some kind of livery button. Nice detail on the front of that, it's still got to be cleaned up a little bit more. And I've got some words on the back here, um, it's just got a maker's thing I think. I'm not too sure exactly what it says about cleaning it up more, but yeah, that's definitely a really nice livery button. Let me try and get the right way up. I think that's what that is. If you didn't know any different, please leave a comment below. Sweet, on to some next finds. Okay guys, so I just got some more info about the button that I just found and it's a standard issue general's button, um, uniform button um, from World War One, World War Two, World War One. Yep, so I'll clean up a bit more. Um, I'll probably do that some other time. I don't normally clean much of my stuff up, but yeah, on to the next. Okay guys, on to another find and it looks like another button. Yep, and there's the shank, and there's the little button. I'll give it a bit of a clean up, it's got some detail on that. Right back in a minute. Alright, guys, there it is. Got some nice detail on that button. Not too sure how to age this, but looks old to me. Keep digging, find some more. Okay, guys, so just walked over this. Nice little surface find and uh, got yourself a spoon and or with some what looks like a hallmark in it let me clean this up a little bit and see if we can reveal anything of that hallmark okay guys so i'm going to try and get this hallmark in here so i've got like a bee then there's like some kind of animal like a tortoise or something i don't know and then it looks like a cross or something so I'll probably have a look for this myself, but if anyone wants to help me ID this, then there's the uh, the, the markings on the spoon. And I think there was one after, a marking after this, but I think there's just two gone. Right, hopefully you guys can help me ID it. Let's get on to some more. Okay guys, so end of the day for me and Treasure Ed. So these are my finds. Uh, two buckles, two pence piece, not an old coin at all. A spoon handle with them hallmark things on it, whatever it is. A few buttons, this one's quite a nice little button. Got some detail on that one. Two flat buttons or three flat buttons there. This, we don't know what it is. Treasure Ed has half of the same kind of thing. We think it might be a token. Uh, military cap badge. And um, a general service button. 
and the other military badge there. And that's it for me. And that's my finds for the day. Right, that's it for me for today. Um, I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Um, we'll be out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll be out with Treasure Red again tomorrow. Hopefully find some cool stuff. But thank you for watching all my subscribers. Um, can't wait to do lives at a thousand subs. So uh, if you don't mind hitting that th thumbs up button and uh, sharing. And if you're not really subscribed, uh, feel free to subscribe. So I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Have a good day. Peace.